Okay, g'day guys, Andrew Dwight here. Look, I've been building for 22 years, actually 23 now. And uh, look, uh, I've drawn up this detail for a manufacturer in Australia who's come up with a really innovative product. But we had to put it together in conjunction with the rest of the construction method. And there's several construction methods around, uh, especially on Ruby Sketch, you can download this and four other details of how you would use their particular panel system in conjunction with different methods of construction. Now when I started out in construction, I found it very difficult to understand these kind of things because we're working from 2D details and doing an apprenticeship. Uh, you know, it takes a while to understand this. If I had this access to this kind of information back in those days, it would have been a lot more efficient and there would have been a lot less errors on site. Now we do learn from those errors, but you know, reducing them is definitely an, an, a value to all of us. So. This model's been set out in a way that it actually works in the way that we would construct this. So if I click on the first tab down here, you'll notice that it shows flashing, which is the first step after the concrete and frame's been up to install this panel. And it also shows the steps that are required to put it together and the most efficient ways to put them together. So, you know, there's packers and things like this you could forget quite easily or you could uh, misplace the way the panel was installed. So this is helping us with that. Window flashing, very important. Leaking is a big problem. And you can zoom in and you'll see the amount of incredible detail that we've put into this model, right down to the screws and how we fix things to the walls. It also goes through sequences. So, you know, we would install the panels like this. And there's also the things that go with the sequence. So for instance, backing rods and, uh, and silicon seals uh, to make sure that the panel performs the way it's supposed to. Okay, So this panel actually works to 120 minutes. Uh, I think it's 60, 60, 60 uh, in fire protection and in combination I think they can get all the way to 120 which is pretty impressive. You know traditionally bricks were the only thing that could do this. Uh, so yeah look I mean it's got a it's got a a lightweight core which is kind of uh, looks like that and uh, and you can put these together in panels instead of actually putting them together in uh, modules so like bricks so for instance you might have to lay 2,000 bricks where in this case you might lay you know six panels I'm not sure what the equation is uh, this detail also goes into uh, external corners and tape you know what's got to go in before the render is done you know expansion joints and if you continue to click through here you can learn a lot about a construction method and for new designers uh, architects that are new to panels or new to this kind of system of construction it's very handy uh, for construction it's second to none we can see how the details are going together and we can see why they're going together what we can do and different options that are available you know bearers and joists you know over here we've got concrete slab but over here we have bearers and joists and you know how will we go about fixing this panel system to it some really good options in there waterproof details how are we going to keep the water out? The most important thing, and I think one of the costs uh, that, that are uh, attributed to builders comes from leaks. So, you know, customers get frustrated uh, when we've got a leak. So the system shows how to go through leaks, you know, how to fix things together, you know, how to bolt plates together, how to use metal connectors uh, in conjunction. Eve details. a lot of information in there and uh, it makes it very very easy to specify new products if all manufacturers went to this much detail with their products I think we'd have a lot happier customers uh, when we're designing for them and building for them hope it helps out guys it is free uh, you can go to uh, rubysketch.com right in pronto panel and you can download this model and several other models there that show you how to put them together put these panels together uh, the model was drawn up with Pluspec and SketchUp. Uh, we used the scenes from SketchUp and, and the structural properties from Pluspec to put this model together. And then we edited them to suit a detail, a 3D detail. All right, guys, cheers. Hope it helps out.